connection problems at home for most of us maybe but for some it wouldn't matter so for this video i'm going to share with you how are you going to troubleshoot and optimize your wi-fi connections at home okay so uh, i will be using a uh, Microsoft Windows application that you can use for your desktops and laptops for you to troubleshoot your Wi-Fi connections at home. So let me share with you my screen here. Let me just open up Chrome and in Google let us search for Wi-Fi Analyzer. So Wi-Fi Analyzer can help you optimize and troubleshoot your Wi-Fi connections at home. For this one, we are going to use the Wi-Fi Analyzer from Microsoft Store. Let's click it here. And you are going to see this icon for the Wi-Fi Analyzer. You can get it and install it for your uh, PC or your laptop and run it from there. So for me, since I have already installed it in my PC, in my laptop, let me just open to you my Wi-Fi analyzer. So as the application opens up, it will recursively scan for your Wi-Fi connection. So as you can see here, as it pops up, there are five menus that you can see here. Since this is just a free version, we will just use some of the basic functionalities to troubleshoot those devices. So, let me just uh, go through with this one. So, the first one is connected. So, this one displays what is your current connection and what Wi-Fi router are you connected to. So, for me, I am connected to port balcony, as you can see here on my taskbar here so i'm connected to my wi-fi which is port balcony the next one is uh, uh, before that as you can see here it displays what is your current network details it shows you your current uh, ssid your ip address and what security method is used in your wireless device the next one is analyze so in Analyze, it shows you here the graphs of the other Wi-Fi networks that are available in your area. So for me here, as you can see, there are uh, other graphs that shows other Wi-Fi connections. So this could be Wi-Fi routers of my neighbors or your, your neighbors as well. And this one is go to networks. So in the networks, it will show you your signal strength. So this one shows you your current signal strength since this is the one that you're connected to. And it also displays other Wi-Fi devices around your home. So it says here that my signal strength is minus 47 dBm. dBm is just a unit of measure to measure your signal strength. The only thing that you're uh, put in mind here is that the lower the dBm or the closer you are to zero, the better is your signal strength. So it says here it's minus 45. Ideally for home Wi-Fi networks, a stable and optimized Wi-Fi network should be below minus 40 dB closer to zero. Okay. So uh, another one of the menu is learn. So these are just uh, simple uh, tutorials. And this one is if you're going to upgrade your application. So no need to upgrade. We'll just use the, the basic functionality for this one. Okay. So for this one, we'll go back to the connected uh, menu. So it says, it says here that it is only 76% improved. The target here is that we're going to optimize it at least 95 to 100% optimization 
of our Wi-Fi network. Okay, so how would we do that? For us to optimize our net, our Wi-Fi network, we'll click on Analyze. In Analyze, it shows you here that you are currently using the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connection. But in the menu, this application would also scan for 5 gigahertz connection. As most of us now in our homes, there are two types of Wi-Fi connections being deployed. One is the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, gigahertz connection here, and the other one is the 5 gigahertz connection. So between the two, which is faster? So for me and for most of the network, faster is the 5 gigahertz network. So maybe we can compare it to our current uh, situation for our radio systems here in, in our country. So you might compare the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz uh, frequency of your Wi-Fi connection by comparing it to our radio stations. So if you are using the AM station, which is uh, the lower, the, the higher the lower frequency band rather it uses the lower frequency band therefore it it reaches uh, much farther or the farther farther distances unlike uh, fm frequency band which is the fm frequency band using our stereo systems it would not go through far distance but the clarity of your audio is much clearer Okay, so if you're using the 5 gigahertz frequency, it would be much faster, but only at a shorter distances. If you're going to use 2.4 gigahertz, it not, it's not that fast. It would be stable, but you can use it on longer distances. So maybe at your, at your house, it, you can use it at around uh, 45 meters radius for 5 gigahertz. You can somewhat use it at around 15 to 20 uh, meters radius as long as you are in the line of sight. So going back here to the application, how do we check if our Wi-Fi connection is optimized? So we will just look at here. We will just look at these 2.4 and the numbers here. In 2.4 gigahertz uh, deployment of the Wi-Fi network, 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network has 13 channels available. So it is the standard. So there are 13 channels. Now. We, we don't need to drill down uh, much further on why the, the, those uh, channels work. Let's we'll just take it here. So just keep in mind that in 2.4 GHz, there are 13 channels. In 5 GHz, there are much many more channels. So 2.4 has lesser channels, 5 gigahertz has more channels. Okay. So if you are using your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi router or network in your home, you can check here what are the available channels. So for me, I am currently connected to this Wi-Fi connection, which also has another Wi-Fi connection using the same channel so if your wi-fi connection and other wi-fi connection using the same channel that may cause a channel interference for your wi-fi network meaning your network is not really optimized so may maybe you will have uh, wi-fi problems that sometimes it will just cut off or your wi-fi will be down especially if you're using your connection so those are some of the problems that may occur why you have uh, wi-fi problems at home so one of which basic one is you're having wi-fi channel interference so how do we change the channel interference a uh, channel uh, usage for your wi-fi so in here for this application it has what we call a channel recommendation by clicking up here 
its first recommendation is to use channel 1. So meaning, the higher number of stars means that you can use that channel. As you can see here, 2.4 GHz has 13 channels. And like here, if you're going to check for the 5 GHz band, it has many more channels here. But I cannot click it here because I'm only using the 2.4. So we'll just click with the 2.4 GHz uh, Wi-Fi connection. And it is recommended to use channel 1. So how do we change that channel? So first, you have to look and check what is your Wi-Fi gateway router. For you to change the configuration of your router, Wi-Fi network channel. For here, I'm going to open up the command prompt from Windows by pressing Windows R on your keyboard and the run command will pop up. We'll just type in CMD, which is the command prompt. And executing the command IP config, you will see here that your default gateway is 192.168.1.1. So this one is the Wi-Fi router you are connected to. So to access that, you'll just need to open up your browser. So we'll just open up a new tab here and type in the IP address 192.168.1.1. Remember that you should have an admin account for you to change the configuration of your router. So let me just log in here. So it depends on your router configuration to where you're going to change it. For me, my router configuration is here at the basic configuration. So moving down here, here is my wireless. 2.4 gigahertz connection so from the Wi-Fi analyzer it says here that I am currently using channel 6 and it is recommended that I should use channel 1 okay so here I have to change it to channel 1 but before changing it to channel 1 let me just go back again to the command prompt and I'm going to use a utility command for me to check the current connectivity between my router and my device. So I'm going to use the command ping 192.168.1.1 minus T meaning continuously pinging my router. So ping is just a way to check your connectivity from your device to the router or any device you're connected to. You just press on enter. So this one would display how much time the reply ping is coming from my router. So as you can see here, some of the time replies are much higher than 50 milliseconds. Ideally, if you have an optimized Wi-Fi signal or Wi-Fi network, ping average should be around less than 5 milliseconds. So going back to the Wi-Fi analyzer, recommended channel is channel 1. So again, here, I'm going to change this to channel 1. So I'm going to apply and save the configuration. And here, continuously pinging my router. As the configuration is being applied, it will automatically reset your Wi-Fi network. So you should see here a request timeout, meaning that the router Wi-Fi connection has restarted. So let's just wait for it to come back. here I am now again connected and the reply ping has already come up 
So as you can see here, it has improved to less than 5 milliseconds or 10 milliseconds depending on your creativity. Okay, so you can see here, just, just check for the time. So this one is in milliseconds. It's now gone down to below 5 milliseconds, which is what we are aiming to for it to be optimized. So since it's not gone down to 1 millisecond, let's try to go back again to the Wi-Fi analyzer and check. So we are now at channel 1. And as we click on connected, it already says... 100% improvement on my Wi-Fi uh, signal, okay? So it's already 100%. Let's check on uh, networks. It's now in channel 1. But then, my, my connection has already improved. It is also visible on our ping reply which is already less than 5 milliseconds. There are times that it could reach higher, but then the important thing here is that there should be no request timeout. Okay. So does your Wi-Fi latency affects your internet connectivity? Yes, it would affect. As long as there are no interference channels between your Wi-Fi connection, then your connection to the internet would be a more stable connection. So since it is held, this is already now in channel 1, let's take a look at the speed test. Let's try to use fast.com. So I'm currently subscribed to a 20 megabits bandwidth. So this should be stable already. Okay. So it has now been very stable at 20 megabits per second with no request timeout for my latency ping. Okay? So if you think that this video is helpful for you, then just give it a like and share it with your friends. Until the next video.